Hello everyone and welcome to quick information. This is a new series on my channel. It's a very simple uh, series of videos. It's not too long and in this uh, vid uh, in, or excuse me in this series we will learn different things from around the world. Well, today I'm feeling to talk about uh, economics. <laughs> <laughs> we will start our series a little bit a little bit more complex Nah, don't worry. It won't be complex. We will talk about currency and how governments evaluate it around the world First we need to understand Where do governments get their currency or money? Well, they get them from banks mostly from international banks through debts I know what you're thinking how the banks in the first place got their currency in order to understand the modern banking system we need to go back in time the first uh, organization to do uh, banking in the entire world was the Knights Templar. It was created so uh, Christian uh, pilgrims can put their money in their countries then receive it when they uh, arrive in the Holy Lands. Here's how it's work. If you want to travel to the Holy Lands you will give your money to the Knights Templar headquarters near you then they will give you a piece of paper that says that the Knights Templar owe, them, uh, owe you a blank amount of money then when you come to the Holy Land you give this paper to a uh, Knights Templar headquarters near you then they would uh, give you uh, your money back then people actually started using these papers to trade with other people who also used these papers. This kind of system continued throughout, the, throughout history until a major uh, event happened. Banks started printing uh, more paper than the value of money they had then they started to loan this paper to governments throughout the world thus creating a sort of fake currency that is valuated through trust not actual money and the banks made way too much money and they became very very powerful and governments throughout the world have no choice but to take debt after debt in order to pay their first debt for example Britain is still paying a 400 year old debt to this day in conclusion banks made money through guarding the people's money then they used that money to loan governments then governments took more loans to pay their original loan until they didn't have a choice but to take more debts thus creating a currency that is based only on trust thank you for watching our video we hope that you enjoyed it please share it and like it it really helps us and don't forget to subscribe this has been your host Omar signing out